Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here and a great video on spotting those stock trends before the market so you make more money. I'm going to turn it over to the resident stock trading expert Thomas Carvo for a great tutorial on stock trends, including one powerful indicator called the Heiken Ashi strategy. What's going on everybody? So the trend is your friend. It's a saying, it's a phrase that you've probably heard before and as investors, as traders, we're definitely in tune with trends in the markets and we should be because that's going to help us make more money, beat market returns or stay ahead of the curve. But in volatile markets, that could be a little more difficult because we could see a lot of choppiness and with choppiness and with it being difficult to identify trends or identify trends early, it makes it a lot more difficult for us to do better in terms of our investments, our own trading. And with a lot of choppiness, it could be very frustrating for a lot of traders and investors. And don't get me wrong, I get frustrated all the time. I'm sure Joseph does as well. But there are ways for us to stay ahead of the curve. And in this video, what I wanted to talk about was almost a cheat code that is going to help us stay ahead of trends. And we can utilize this in our own trading so we can identify trends right as they are happening in front of our eyes so we don't have to be late to that party and then try to ride the trend, we could capitalize early so we don't have to worry down the road if that trend does change faster than maybe some expected. We're also gonna cover some examples live here in this video, so make sure you're staying tuned. And if you see any trends in your own trading, your own investing or stocks you're watching, let us know in the comments below. Joseph and I also put together a technical analysis trading course that'll be linked in the video description down below. So if you want to learn more when it comes to technical analysis, doing your own technical analysis, indicators, chart patterns, much more on fundamentals and even trading plans, that'll be a great resource to check out after the video down below. All right, so our cheat code into identifying trends early, that's going to be with something called Heikinashi candles, okay? Heikinashi candles, a better candlestick here as Investopedia describes it. Now, what these are, these are a Japanese candlestick pattern, okay, that we can use in our own trading. We can look at this on a chart. So you generally will see on like CNBC, those line graphs, and you'll generally see maybe candlestick charts, but this is a different form of a candlestick chart. And Heikinashi stands for average bar in Japanese. So without diving too deep into how these candles are calculated, we generally are getting an average of that candlestick of that time frame, And we'll show you an example here in just one second. But in terms of that formula, that formula is now up on the screen. And so in terms of calculating the close of that candle, the open of that candle and the high and the low, those are given to you guys right there. Now that aside, that's really cool. That's awesome. And the details behind calculating that is great. But as a trader, as an investor, we don't need to necessarily know too much about that. We just need to be able to visualize how that works in our own trading, okay? Using these candlesticks, how can we identify that to find trends? All right, so now we've pulled up a chart of the S&P 500 ETF, take our symbol SPY. We have gone up into the top left corner where it says line style on the Webull platform, which is a free platform, and we've gone over to Heiken Ashi candles all the way on the right-hand side. So again, line style, click on that, and then we click on Heiken Ashi candles. That is how you get access to it. You'll be able to get access for free on Webull. You can also get access on other platforms, TD Ameritrade and other trading platforms as well, E-Trade. There are plenty where that came from and it's not something you need to pay for additionally these days for most free trading platforms. So what I wanna point your attention to is I want to go back to let's say the line chart, which most people are familiar with, okay? So you'll see this on CNBC, you'll see this on most shows, you'll see this on most you know websites you'll look at, you look on Google, you're gonna get a line chart, okay? Look at Heiken Ashi, that's a different story. These candlesticks are going to give us more information. Now, candlestick patterns, give us more information than line charts and Heiken Ashi candles are gonna give us more information regarding trends and that's what we're focused on, okay? So what we're going to look at right here is we can tell that this is very, very clear. We see consistency in these trends where we don't have just kind of one or two ups and downs and green and red candles, which would indicate green days, red days on the S&P we're getting much more of a trend approach and we can see that a lot of the noise is being ironed out by more consistency in these different colored candles. And I wanna point your attention to some of these periods. We didn't go up every single day during all of these green extensions, we did not. But the overarching trend was still positive. The overarching trend was still to the upside and so that's the benefit that we can utilize here with these Heikinashi candles. Now, 
that's a broad overview. Let's look at some examples. Let's look at how we can identify trends and when we would look to pinpoint our entry points with Heikinashi candles. All right, so right in front of us now is Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. We are looking at Amazon over the past year plus, okay? Amazon has been in this range. It really has been consolidating from roughly 3,000 up to about 35 to 3,700. That's been the rough range that we've been seeing on Amazon stock. Now, despite this range, despite this choppiness, this is a perfect example of how we can utilize this in a choppy market and still be able to profit and still be able to manage trades, pinpoint investment entry points or exit points so that we can still make more money in this span. Let's say I'm a longer term investor and I am looking at Amazon stock and I want to buy Amazon stock for long term, but I want to get the best price I possibly can. Well, of course, we have to understand that timing the market is very, very difficult and I'm not trying to time the market. But what I am trying to do is maybe enter this position at a bottom or at a relative low early on in a trend reversal so that I know that I could be looking pretty good on my position right away. And it may not sound like a big deal, but if we think about this and we can pinpoint an entry point on Amazon and we're able to enter Amazon down closer to $3,000, let's say we enter at 3,100. Well, now where we're sitting at right now on Amazon is up towards about 34, 3,500. Well, that's about an 11% difference. Now, we've had opportunities to make 11% on our Amazon position over the course of the past year. And while many traders are looking to sell into those moves, if we're even a long-term investor, the difference of 11% versus let's say I was to buy Amazon randomly right now, I'm paying 11% more for Amazon stock right now for the long term. So building better habits and helping yourself, even if it's one, two, 3%, getting better entry points on these stocks, even as a long-term investor, do the math of compounding that, compounding these decisions over the course of your lifespan, over the course of your investing career, that could do a lot, especially as you build up a portfolio. Okay, so how do we identify this? Okay, guys, so what we're looking at right now is we're looking for times when the trend changes, okay? So whether we're going long or short, we want to be looking at a trend and notice something, okay? So what we're looking at right now on Amazon, okay, let's go to a recent, really recent example of this. What we're looking at right now is that Amazon has been uptrending, right? And it's starting to show signs now of these green bars are now turning red right now could be an opportunity for us to look at Amazon and take advantage of the pullback to the downside if that's what happens with Amazon. So what this can do for us as, an, as a trader or as an investor is we could be looking right now and we could be looking at trying to capitalize once those colors turn the other direction. Now, of course, it's not perfect because look at this. There are multiple opportunities and multiple examples where just one candlestick changes colors for one day and then it goes back the other direction. That happens a lot. And in choppy stocks, it's more difficult. But there is one more key to this puzzle that I do want to dive into, and that's called a doji. What we're looking for is a doji candle. We're looking for the long-legged doji, this guy right here, where we see that we have a wick up and a wick down on the candlestick, and then the body, the solid part of the candle, whether that's red or green, the solid part is smaller, and that's right in the middle of that candlestick, okay? It's not always been perfect, but take a look at this. We have some examples of this on Amazon. So we had three red days right here. We have a doji where we have a small body followed by two longer legs to that doji, and then we've had now four or five green days in a row. And so in that span alone from that doji candle, Amazon has made a roughly 5 to 6% move to the upside. Now we've also got a doji right here, and that actually occurred here, looks like on the 10th of November, and that now has signaled a move back to the downside. So we're looking for those dojis, and we're looking for them to come in on a stock after a sustained period of solid moves in the up or downward direction, that's going to indicate a potential trend change, and you guys would be surprised. On a Heikinashi chart, whether that's looking at the one minute, the five minute, the one day, the one week chart, whatever time frame you're looking at, you guys will be very surprised that this works quite well. Again, look at some of these examples back in here. Amazon went on a nice little move to the upside, doji candle right here, followed by about five or six days back to the downside, and there was opportunity to make money on the downside there. Same exact thing here. Amazon bounces back up, have a couple green days in a row, doji, boom, followed by a pretty big downtrend right there for a couple weeks actually on Amazon stock, and we got a pretty substantial move. 
after that doji gets put in amazon actually went down over 12 percent in the coming weeks i want to talk about another example and that is roku stock ticker symbol roku so look at this chart this is the past about a year or so on this chart we see some crazy trends. Look at some of these crazy trends, the upside. Look at some of these big pullbacks, the downside. And as of late, look at this. I mean, we had this move from looks like July through early mid-August, where Roku pulled back over 25%. And look at all of these candles. Now, Roku wasn't red every single day in this span, but the Heiken Ashi candles were able to cancel the noise out and show us, hey, the trend is still down here. So if I was short this stock, or if I was looking to go long this stock, there was no signal to me at this time to get into this stock based on these Heiken Ashi candles and based on the current trend that we were seeing with Roku. Great, that's awesome. These candles are great for trends, but let's talk about what no one likes to talk about, and that's how to build a trading plan around this, okay? So what we can do is if we're looking for longer term investing, this isn't a huge deal. It's going to help pinpoint when we can get in after a pullback or on a reversal on something along those lines. It could help us identify a better time to buy in. But let's say we're traders and let's say we want to get in for a swing trade or for a day trade. And we're looking at these candlesticks and we're saying to ourselves, I want to try to pinpoint a really good entry point and I want to ride this up for a profit. Let's use this downtrend as an example because no one likes to talk about the losses. And I think this is actually one of the most important parts when utilizing trends to benefit your own trading. If you're not ready to lose, if you're not ready to cut your loss, that loss can get very, very large. Let's just say I wasn't trading options, I was just trading shares, and I thought that I saw a reversal coming here on Roku, so I decided to buy around $350 after this big, big pullback in Roku during the month of August, and I buy at 350. Well, Roku actually went up about 7% off of that, but then it ended up falling back to the downside. It broke back below 350 and has been going down. Now, all of a sudden, it's down at 300 and I'm down 15% on my position. We don't want that to happen, okay? We really don't. But utilizing Heiken Ashi candles, utilizing these trends, what we could do is we can identify where we want to put our stop loss. So if I enter Roku here at, at 350 because I'm seeing signs that, hey, this trend is breaking, we have one green candle here, this trend may be reversing back to the upside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back to the left. I'm going to look back to the bottom. Where do we bottom out? Where was the bottom? Where was the low of the recent trend, which was this right here that happened to be right around $340. Let me draw that line in across the screen for us right here. So at about $340, that's where my bottom is. That is going to be my max risk on this trade. So I entered here at roughly 350. Let's say I did that. What does that mean? That means I have a stop loss of just about 3% from my average. And hey, Roku went up 7%. What I could do is once I'm up on a trade, I can bring my stop loss up to my entry price and my average, and I could ride the trade out from there. I get stopped out for break even, or worst case scenario here, guys, I'm going to lose 3% and I'm not going to ride the wave back on down as Roku fell off to the downside. And the exact same thing can be done on the flip side by putting a stop loss above the recent high of a trend that's been going up and taking a short position to ride the wave down. It does not need to be very complicated, but what I want you to do is look for those doji candles after sustained moves in the up or downward direction. That could help signal a reversal and then utilize that candle, utilize those candles, utilize the lows or the highs of the recent trend as your guide, as your stop loss on the upside and the downside, depending upon if you're going long or short. One more perfect example here on Roku again, look at this trend, it bounced off the bottoms, we had a couple green days in a row, a couple weeks actually, and it hit up and we had three highs up around that 350. So that area actually now is resistance. And so if I notice that, hey, we're getting stuffed here, we can't break over 350 and I see a red candle coming in and we start pulling back to the downside, well, guess what I'm gonna do? If I take a short position right here on Roku, you know where my stop loss is gonna be? My stop loss is gonna be around 350. So for example, if I was to take a position around 340, my stop loss would be roughly three and a half percent from that level, which would be up toward 350. And then I'm going to look to ride the wave down to the downside, which has been working out beautifully as now Roku's down about 20% from that point or from that trend reversal that we just saw a few weeks back. I love these patterns. I love Heiken Ashi candles. Let us know in the comment section down below if you are seeing any trends in your own trading and how this is helping you. Again, we'll have a link down below to that technical analysis trading course that Joseph and I put together. 
we dive deeper into all sorts of candlestick patterns. We dive deeper into trends. We dive deeper into support resistance, how you can identify your own trends, how you can trade your own plans. And of course, some bonuses there on fundamental analysis as well. A very detailed course. If you are someone looking to dive deeper into technical analysis, I would highly recommend you take a look at that down below in the video description. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing here and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.